next step, I will ask my uh, client to lay on, on his back. Now, the um, sternocleidomastoid muscles, it's easy to address. It's kind of uh, always flippy a little bit. Uh, Turnic even to this side, it will constrict and, oh, you, you have it. Just very gentle. Be, be sure that you're not involving uh, um, carotid arteries. It's just be sure. It's really defined muscles. You go to mastoid process like this. Yeah. And very, before you will start little kind of, remember fascia was mobilized already in this area and this is just we directly addressing a bit uh, um, is muscles and yeah, what, what can happen, yes, but when you compress from both sides like this, it could, it could produce uh, local uh, pain, then just compress ischemically like this and remove this. This is yeah, very important, yeah. But um, again, just a little bit like this, it's defined. In this case, look, my thumb on, on this side where is, um, where is uh, carotid artery, I'm making sure that I compressing muscle before I start compressing and massaging and not artery. How I know it's not pulsating? It's uh, like this, it's uh, obviously defined. Look, if you more you will turn to this side, you will feel. Even I would recommend like this, you will protect carotid artery. It's uh, for sure very difficult to, to reach right now. Just like this, you go, you play before you compressing, you play with, with this, oh, it's here, and like this, kneading, one, one, one. Kneading with one hand here, because with two hands, a lot of us, can confuse, including myself, I don't take this risk, and somehow will stimulate carotid arteries and person can uh, lose consciousness on, on table and uh, we can cause some uh, cardio complication, we don't want it. And like a minute and a half, two minutes, I would do kneading on, on uh, sternocleidomastoid. Again, guys, all this area was strained, one component more, one less, but all was traumatized. And in this, we, we have little by little, we have to address it. Now, the other very important in this whiplash, and especially this will go a little bit back and to the side, is uh, key muscle. I call it, it key muscles, um, anterior skeleton muscles. It is. And anterior skeleton muscles are located in uh, sternocleidomastoid covering it. We have to shift it in order to expose scaling. Yeah, and here it will be, it's easy to palpate like this shift and under or with thumb, I, I was thumb shifting it, yeah, and will be, yeah, here is the scaling muscles. Scaling muscles you can um, um, like shift and you can like this, the tip of the fingers to stimulate or I do always with Tom, I proceed, I start, it, it originate from C3, C6, therefore I, on the same level, I will sit right now and with this manner. you welcome to improvise. Most important is not to forget to shift sternocleidomastoid to expose, and you can with fingers. You can improvise techniques, whatever you will find more comfortable for you, but it have to be massaged and, and pressure applied against an anterior skeleton muscle. Yeah. Now, uh, 